I'm going to show you some examples of lecturing. And we'll take a look at those and see what you see, what you think about those examples. So we take some tapes of, of faculty lecturing, and there's a number of them on YouTube available. And we show some short segments, and then the students reflect on that. What did you like about this lecture? What didn't you like? How would you have modified it? What were the students' reactions? How, have you, how could you have gotten more of a reaction uh, from the students and interaction? So uh, we, we talk um, about tapes, and we, you know, they look at themselves. They look at others. Uh, we do that in the classroom. Of course, they've all been exposed to lectures a lot. And I ask them about what they think the qu good qualities, the best qualities of a lecture are, the best lecture they've ever heard, what were the qualities, and not only of the lecture, but of the lecturer. One quality about a lecture is that they're not monotone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so hard to pay attention in a long lecture that, you know, I mean, just humor and Mm -hmm. reality, you know, fusions of reality, real stories that you can mm -hmm. sort of latch on to, I think help a lot. Okay. Good. All good. Uh, all good examples of what makes for a good lecture, and we'll talk a little bit more about some of those. So there's a lot to think about there in terms of how to deliver a good lecture, and just like in other components of teaching, we sort of use a multimodal approach their own lectures, others' lectures, reading materials, discussion, all come together, I think, to make uh, them think about lecturing, uh, especially as an interactive process. And I really think about it that the lecture can't just be one-sided or just the lecturer giving material to students, but how do we gauge students' reactions and get them involved in that lecture?